technique. Yeah. But I kept breaking symbols, so I stopped buying them because I would like break a like four hundred dollar symbol. I'm like, Shh, man, I gotta, yeah. I gotta go buy another symbol. At so least you got riders all the time covering. Uh, yeah, guys, well, so like, uh, then I broke one rental symbol, and Long McQuay's gonna hate me for this, but I broke one rental symbol, and they're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Here, here's another one. <laughs> so I just started renting yeah. symbols only. I, I I've been cruel to some Long McQuay gear. Uh, shout out to everybody, every Long McQuay. Yeah, up, like, people so, like me and Adrian coming totally. back with your gear covered in paint or broken completely. Uh, yeah. Um, and just coming through, be like, here's another one with a smile on their yeah. face, being like, my boss is gonna kill me. Yeah, um, totally. But yeah, fuck yeah. Um, you're saying that's like due to bad technique, and uh, I used to be a drummer, I don't drum anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, you find that's like more, like, waste more energy as well, having like using bad technique? Yeah, totally. Interesting. Totally. I, I used to play really hard. Just probably because I watched Travis Barker a lot when I was younger. Classic. I have a Travis. And Barker also like, even. and also like playing in like post hardcore bands and stuff like that. And them always being like, you don't hit hard enough. And then, like, so up. and then I started like hitting super hard when I was playing with Neon. And then like I realized this doesn't sound as good in pop music <laughs> for yeah. like to be hitting so hard. Well, it's like I feel like that's the point. As soon as you're like, yeah, working on pop well, music, especially I need to like hone the technique. Smaller down stages, here. like playing smaller stages. It like actually, I had to like like teach myself to play lighter again because it's like. I would try to play like as light as I can, and it would still be too loud. Like, yeah. like I, I remember we did this one showcase, and it's like there wasn't a ton of PA, and like, like here's drums. Yeah, you know I mean? so straight up, drums yeah. will overpower everything totally. if you let them. Yeah, <laughs> like they not. But the other cool part is that now that we play as a two piece, I got a lot of stuff to fill in on drums where yeah, I like you got lots before of space. before I used to like play exactly like. Like, I would basically emulate all the drum programming that mm -hmm. we did, right? Yeah. Because all, all our drums are programmed, for the most part. Yeah. And some, I very rarely record Used drums live. Used to be or currently still are? Currently still are. Okay. Uh, I think I record drums on, like, one track on the album. Interesting. But. Uh, it's cool, though. You, you program and write it, and then you're forced to learn how to play it. So that, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes you better every time. It's like, time. I'll, I'll emulate it on drums. But now, it's like, I don't have to do exactly what the drums are doing in the track, because now I kind of got to, like make it more like a journey when you go through the songs. Yeah. Like mar like the way I play marching bands is completely different from how I played it three years ago. Because before I was just like, basically I was playing along to the drums we programmed. Yep. But now I'm doing like shots You're on my own. I'm almost playing like riffs on the drums yep. to, to make it more interesting to, yeah, to fill it in. You know? Yeah. That's super dope. I'm so about like two people setups. Like yeah. I'm low key geeking to, for when you guys play just to, like show up for sound check and be like just watch James. <laughs> like, can't wait to well, it's cool because uh, like I, I run all the tracks with the foot pedal behind the drum. Yeah, let's talk about that. So that that's like what I was talking about with Ableton. So I run everything in Ableton, mm -hmm. and then I have a foot pedal that's basically just like. So what's that interfaced with? Your foot pedal. What's it plugged into? It's just a USB like MIDI controller. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then. Um, what brand is it? If you don't mind me asking, because that's lot Logity. I don't know. I bought it off Amazon. Interesting. Yeah. Just like a single. Pedal. I just like I just knew that I was like I just USB knew. trigger. It has three buttons on it. Yeah. And yeah, it's good for your foot. Like got enough space. Yeah, yeah I just put it next to my hi hat foot, and cool. then I run all the tracks that way, and then that Sick. way I'm not fiddling with a laptop on stage or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's off to the side. You were saying. Yeah, yeah, it's off to the side, and I just run everything with my foot, and then when I go play the guitar tracks, I just kind of bring the pedal up with me. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no. Um. But yeah, it's only three buttons, and it's like it's like go and stop and then back a song if i ever need to go back a song yeah that's, word. All, that's all it is what do you guys do in uh if you like do you ever decide to like do you're like fuck we're gonna do the hook again how do you do manage I that when you're you when you're doing samples don't. you don't do it yeah, you can i mean there's definitely ways to do it there's i know there's one pedal that you can get that's basically the same thing i got mm -hmm. but it's eight it's a little bigger it's so like eight stomps create another mapping and you like, well you can actually you can map activate loop or yeah whatever. you can like map everything out to be like this is going to be the course this button does the course this button does the bridge and like all that but it's like question do you use when you're playing i've seen people use ableton live in live settings both using arrangement view i use and, session and session view like yeah. as in like mixer view as well yeah, yeah. um so i i so have used clips i in use other words, yeah, yeah clips i use everything in session view i actually use i basically use arrangement view as like an edit window okay so like when you gotta chop up clips well, yeah, when I got to change utility, just do basic utilities. Yeah, so basically, what up. is I got like a master file. Cool, is what I call I like it. This. It's like I, it's like all of our songs are in it, and uh -huh. every different arrangement we've ever done of it. So yeah. I'm like, I know this. So like, life without fantasies. This, I love that. This is the version that has the extended intro. 
because Frank's going to talk over it. Mm-hmm. And if he's not doing the extended ver- intro version of it, then it's just like I just swap things around depending yep. on the set, right? Ah. So, or like about you, we do like an extended outro. Mm-hmm. But sometimes like the show might not call for it. Like if we're just doing like <laughs> a quick like 20 minute go and then I won't have these long extended versions of songs. Yeah, that makes sense. You mean like when we play Merchant Man's Live, the version we play I think is like almost six minutes long. You know what I mean? It's a good track, man. Gotta, gotta well, it's, it's just, keep it going. It's, yeah, it's like you got to keep going and also it's like um, just adding like moments to interact with the crowd Absolutely. or adding like things that are different about it live and stuff like that. So This is dope. So I'll have it in like session view, right? Yeah. And then what I do is I take all the clips, drag them over to arrangement view, yeah. make the changes I need to make change and then I bring them over and make a new clip track yeah. basically in the session view. Interesting. There, yeah. yeah, so... For those who can follow what he's saying right now, hell yeah. Um, <laughs> to those who can, one of these days, hopefully, we'll be able to kind of shed some light on it. Maybe uh-huh. next time he's around, or hopefully, we'll be able to do some side videos just addressing similar topics. Uh-huh. Um, but this is a really nice topic to do a full. See, I, full video I'm on. not good in Ableton at yeah. all. You know what I mean? But I it's like it's shit, the see? same same basic stuff as like that I do in Logic. But yeah. I would never go into Ableton to make a track. You know? Yeah, just because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh-huh. See, I'm. But I also, just, like, then also, like, I'll EQ things differently live, too. Like, yeah. about you, that bass that goes throughout the chorus, I'll, I'll like, I boost it in a certain area just so it has more grit to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? For I live feel, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm working with a group. And actually, I'm about to do our lights in it, too. So we're going to do all our lighting through Ableton, too. What? With MIDI. So what is running your lights though like you're gonna re- trigger the midi through ableton but like what's that going to then it goes to a dmx controller that'll run all the lights live so like i can so which dmx controller do you know i don't even know That's I got, what so I'm I, about, yeah, yeah. I know it can be triggered by midi but i was like usually it's like in light jockey like you run just like ableton i, I you run light jockey or um in, but i want to like like martin pc or perfectly with the tracks you yes know what i mean like so like so it needs to be so like absolutely i, I want to i want a light drop out right before the big ending and about you right so basically has that been have you started working on that yeah so we're, we're building it right now for the next tour so james would have the answer to that lighting question actually this guy named jeff okay is like building it all james will probably have the answer yeah but, i'm gonna bug james about it yeah but um sick I love that. Yeah. Basically, right now, we're building the logo. Yes. As a lighting rig. It's Cute. like a six-foot yep. version of our logo. Oh, okay, cool. That basically is like wrapped in lights that I yep. can change. The new logo. Yeah. The, the one that's on the, the poster for the tour and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I really like that logo. Yeah. That's dope. Thank you. Um, yeah. Did Frank draw that up? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he just drew it on his phone. Really I, cool. I thought it was really cool how he kind of explained where it came from. He's like, first started like this, and then it yeah. came out like this. Because yeah. at first, I was like kind of looking at it, and I was like, it looks cool. I just like... Could didn't mm-hmm. figure it out, and then I seen that he put that up, and I was like, "Sick, I like that." Mm-hmm. Um, anyone who doesn't know, like follow the boys because they like put answer a lot of questions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Adrian was doing Ask Me Anything the other day, and funny enough, I got to ask him the same question we just asked him about his rig. Yeah. Um, so it's just like they'll gladly explain it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Frank's always interacting. You are too. 